Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Trailmakers. And today I'm going to be doing a fun experiment involving something called the Fulton Surface to Air Recovery System, which is basically uh, it, it exists in real life, but it's also you've seen it in video games like Metal Gear Solid and I don't know, probably some other stuff, too. That That's just the one that comes to my. Whoops. So anyway, the idea is you take something on the ground, you attach basically an inflatable balloon to it that carries it up in the air to, I don't know, be recovered or something. But that's not what we're going to be doing uh, for our purposes. Our purpose is, is to use it as an offensive weapon. Say a car that looks oddly like this uh, cut you off on the highway or something. What if you could just drive up next to the car, stick it with a surface to air recovery system, and then just take it off of the highway so it's not going to bother anyone else anymore. Um, and that's what I'm planning on trying to engineer in this episode. Because we don't have balloons in Trailmakers, but what we do have are gimbal jets. And gimbal jets essentially work like a balloon. They go up. So theoretically, if I was to combine these gimbal jets with some anchor blocks and some pistons, I could probably create a uh, deployable surface-to-air recovery system that can break off on an enemy car and send it shooting up into the air. And then we can all laugh at it as it floats off into the void. But first, before we get to that, we're gonna need a car. All right, I'm gonna try to actually use my already built trophy truck. And we're gonna see if we can attach uh, this system to the trophy truck. And by this system, I mean the thing that I haven't even, it doesn't exist yet. I haven't built it yet, let's build it. All right, so this might actually be somewhat difficult to engineer. It's gonna have to extend out it's going to have to be able to stick, and it's also going to have to contain everything I need it to contain. So probably a logic gate. We're going to need this logic gate to make sure that the gimbal jets stay activated after it detaches from the vehicle. And you know what? It may be better even to use a sensor. So that way, when the sensor detects that it is anchored onto the vehicle like this, hopefully that means when this anchor block gets triggered, this sensor will trigger the detaching block. So we'll hook that into there. And you know what? I'll actually reverse these so that the pistons are closer to my vehicle. All right, so without any gimbals attached yet, this is what the system looks like. We got the anchor block and the sensor. We press space and it'll extend it out. And presumably if it touches, it should automatically detach from the vehicle and the pistons will contract once I release the button. All right, so now we need, this is actually gonna be a somewhat more complicated part. And that's why I'm keeping this logic gate here, which I actually am going to convert into an altitude sensor. So I use altitude sensors. If I want an output to be always on, I just set the altitude to negative 500. So that way this is always just outputting a signal at all times because it's always above negative 500 meters. And I think trailer hinges is going to make the most sense for what to attach the gimbals to. All right, so my plan is to have five gimbal jets here just like this. This, and the top one, I hope this is enough that the top one can carry just the weight of the whole system. Let's see. Oh, where you go? Where you going? Why? Where? Hey, no, don't do that. <laughs> that's not what's supposed to happen. Try again. Oh, I think I know what happened. Oh, that's bad, too. Okay, no, there we go. All right, look, it's like a balloon. It's acting just like a balloon. <laughs> All right, we definitely have an issue here where um, sometimes when I spawn in, the floppiness of it before it gets settled ends up triggering the sensor. It's not happening now that I'm trying to show you the issue, of course. The, oh, there it goes. Yep, there, there we go. So I think what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to do something like this. So this is going to turn this into a rigid body until uh, the detachment gets triggered. All these attachable blocks will get triggered at the same time. And that way, look at that, it's a rigid body. So that should stay like that. And then when the sensor gets triggered, I also wanted to turn on all of these gimbal thrusters. All right, so let's just do a quick test with this. I already have the, uh, the, the victim spawned in. So if I drive up next to it and I do this. Okay, uh, that's an issue. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. This time, what if I just gently... Oh, look at that. But why isn't this... The sensor's not being triggered. Why is the sensor not being triggered? I don't like that. All right, let's try this again. And... Oh! 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 It's working. It's actually... That's exactly how it's supposed to work. 
<laughs> okay, let's backspace. Um, is this gonna, is this gonna really work that quickly? Like almost every single time I have one of these ridiculous ideas, I I have a vision on how it's going to work, and the first try never turns out to work that way. All right, so there's one adjustment I want to make. I want to make this extend definitely less fast because I want it to be. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, I think that should be doable, right? Okay, so now I just copy and paste this to the opposite side, and I will set each one of them on a separate button. So if I press number two, the right side comes out. If I press number one, the left side comes out. All right, number one. Yep. And number two. All right. So this is it. Inspired by the Fulton Surface to Air Recovery System, I think. This is now the Scrapman Surface to Air Good Riddance System. And I am ready to test this thing out on some unsuspecting victims. All right, here we go. I'm going to send a few cars out. And let's see if I can catch. I mean, I only have two things, so I should only be able to catch like two of them. But here we go. All right, I'm definitely faster than them, which is good. All right, go ahead and extend this. Okay, that didn't work quite as planned. The sensor, I need. I think I need to lower the sensor distance. Okay, ready? And... Oh, that worked flawlessly. Ignoring the first flaw, that worked flawlessly. All right, I can repair and get my stuff back. And it's still going up in the air. You know what I want to do? I want to... Um, I want to transform into a plane after I do it and try to shoot them out of the air. But first, I, I want to play around with this a little bit more. All right, we drive up next to them. Oh my god, it is that- I cannot believe how good this is working. This is actually kind of amazing. All right, we got the third one over here. Look, it's, just, it's going sideways still. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is exciting. All right, and <laughs> I am actually, I'm genuinely kind of surprised at how well this works. All right, I need to find a plane to transform into. All right, so now I should be able to hold down R, hit the transform button, transform into this thing, and can I take off is the problem. Okay, th this might be a bit of an issue here. Transform. Yes, I mean, it's okay that I spin around like that. I just got to get up in the air and then I'll have all the time in the world to go after these things. All right, I think we got it. This is going to be the Scrapman surface to air good riddance system because not only are we going to send them up into the air, but then we're going to call in air support to take them out. I was going to say take them down, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose. We're just going to take them out. That's the thing. All right, and here we go. Sending the cars on their way. Four cars this time. I think I'm gonna go for the front car first. We'll catch up to the front car. I'm gonna do two cars at a time. I don't know why I sent four cars out. You know, maybe I can put all four cars in the air. I don't know, let's, let's do all four cars. Yeah, let's just do it. Just to prove how effective this system is. How quickly can I do four cars? All right, and there's one. Here comes the next one. Just letting it catch up to me. There's two. Now I can go ahead and repair. I get my things back. Okay. Oh boy, gentle, gentle. And there's three. This is working flawlessly. Of course, I say it before I finish the last one. Watch this one be the messed up. <laughs> this is the most consistent I've ever had something work. <laughs> All right, now we switch into the plane and we get ready to attack. <laughs> all right, here we go. Look at them all. I'll go for the highest one first. And this is actually gonna be kind of hard, I think. We'll see what happens, I guess. They are they are kind of small targets, aren't they? I got a hit! I'm at, I actually took some pieces off. I feel like I need cannons, though. You know what? I have the vehicle for that. All right, I think I'm gonna have to try it with, uh, do you guys remember the Gatling, the Gatling gun plane that I built? Here, let's do that. All right, but let's make sure, whoa! Let's make sure that I can transform successfully into the Gatling plane. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. And then shift to fire, I believe. Yep. So what are the chances I'll be able to actually hit one of these things? All right, this is going to work. It's, we're going to get it. I'm not I'm not ending this episode till we successfully blow one of these guys out of the sky. All right, the cars are off. I'm going to do four again because the more cars that are in the air, then the more chances I have to get lucky and hit one of them with the plane. But I'm going to do the same method I did before. Let's see if we can get another 100% success rate. 
All right, car number one. There we go, no problem. Get ready for car number two. No problem as well. Oh, gotta repair. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh boy. Okay. You know, I'll just this one's right here. Let's just do it. Okay, that I, that was kind of an accident, but it worked. Still worked, even as an accident. And there we are. Perfect. Alright, now let's transform into Gatling Plane. Oh, that was actually a good a good takeoff. Alright, now let's see if we can hit some of these things without destroying myself, because sometimes this thing blows itself up. Come on. Oh, okay. We got a wheel off. I'm surprised it didn't do more damage. Oh, this is actually happening way more successfully than I thought it was going to. But I'm surprised at how resilient they are. Oh, yes. I can't believe that this is happening so successfully. Oh, man, this is a great plane. Come yeah, on. I mean, it's, it's, it's all like pure luck. I'm just spraying and praying, really. Oh! Oh, I blew off some of my tail, but I annihilated that thing. All there is is the base left. All right, I definitely gotta, I can't even repair, actually. We're way too up high. If I repair, if I press backspace, then I'm gonna end up um, deleting all the vehicles in the air. So I actually kind of have to fall back down to the ground and uh, repair down there. They're so high, I don't even think I'll be able to find them, actually. I think that was our chance. I blew myself up, and I'm not gonna be able to get the rest of them. But two of them, one of them I dropped out of the sky, a couple of them I hit, and that last one was just, it, he was still floating up, but the vehicle was gone. So I would say that that was a success as well. You know, I think this might actually be one of my best creations. If only I could use it right now and stick, there we go. Is it gonna work, is it enough? Oh, it's not enough. The plane's too heavy. I'm gonna have to stick another one to it. Hold on. And... Oh, no. Stick, 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 stick. Okay, that's okay. I can just repair. I can do it again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, those aren't activated. Gamma. There we go. <laughs> it's so good. If it's not... A, if the first one isn't enough, just attach more. It'll eventually do it. That's how this thing works. Oh, I look so short when I go into first person. Look at this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, another overwhelming success with the surface-to-air good riddance system. I mean, look at that. You just can't ask for a better performing thing than that. I mean, it's been like 100% accuracy with those cars once I finish building this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have any other silly ideas like this that you'd like to see me try to do in Trail Makers, let me know down in the comments below and uh, maybe you'll see it in the next video. If you did enjoy this, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.